Crypto launchpads, one of the most innovative sectors in the digital asset space. They give you access to new and upcoming projects that no one has really seen before. The problem is that they are extremely risky, but what if there was one out there that could give you a money back guarantee after so many days? Well, that day is today. So today we're gonna talk about Tencent. And uh, this is the website right here. And what I wanna go over, of course, for every kind of deep dive that we do here on Dan Degen, we have to, of course, uh, go through this disclaimer, which is, this is not financial advice. You can, of course, do whatever you wanna do. These are extremely risky, but with great risk, sometimes comes with great rewards. So what we need to do is we actually need to break down this launch pad by using the cut method. And we're gonna take a look at the community, utility team, and tokenomics. So we'll break that down very easily, first of all, which is the community. The community itself, you can rally a lot of different products just around the community itself and just how big they are and how passionate they are about the project. So if we take a look at uh, Tencent, uh, the actual uh, project itself on Telegram, looks like they got uh, almost 12,000 members. On Twitter, they've got over 101,000 followers, pretty good. And of course, since they're not based mostly in North America, mostly it's like uh, Asian countries and stuff like that, they have, or with Line, and they've got uh, over almost 5,000 members there and a couple of different other platforms that they're, they're on as well, but not as many as these big three right here. So the community itself looks pretty decent uh, for what they have. Now let's talk about the utility and then we'll throw in a little tokenomics and very lastly, we'll get into the team aspect. So utility, before we get into that, let me just say that for this video, since you made it so far already, I'm gonna be giving away 5,000 10 set tokens to five lucky winners. All you gotta do is, of course, you're watching this video, so congratulations. I need you to follow me at News Asset on X, follow 10 set IO on X, and then retweet this post or whatever it would be called, uh, retweeting or reposting on X itself. We'll be uh, drawing those five lucky winners next week. Today, it is the uh, 12th of December. So we'll be doing this live using Twitter Picker. So if you wanna be a part of that, just follow me over on X. Link is in the description for this particular post. So the tokenomics. So Tencent right now is actually, I wanted to do this video a couple of days ago. I wish I would have because it went up 15% in 24, 24 hours. But that's okay, because it really hasn't pumped as hard as a lot of other things. You have to understand, Tencent itself is still ranked 374, and it just broke into the 400 with this little pump today. So the circulating supply, you'll notice, is 167,306,761. Total supply and max supply are the same. Why is that? It's because this product's been around for quite some time as a launch pad. So they don't have any unlocks. There is no mysteries going on about when something's going to dump on somebody. This is it. And I got to tell you, for 167 million for the circulating total and max supply, that's not too much. And especially when we start talking about the burns, you can see why this could do uh, quite well. Now, you will notice, though, that uh, as far as like the all-time highs, it is down almost 92% from its all-time high, which is $6.48. So I got to tell you, uh, on something like this, I think this is uh, something where I could say that this is not a bad play because there's more upside potential. Now, that is, of course, from its all-time high. The all-time low was $0.15. Cents. Uh, now we are 4x that, so there's still a good oh. amount of room to run, but we'll see how much it is. And if we're going to take a look at like all-time highs and, and move from there, remember that uh, Bitcoin is down almost 40% from its all-time high. Solana is down uh, roughly 73%. Chainlink is down 72%. And of course, uh, Cardano, almost 82%. I still think a lot of these are really good plays. So when we take a look at, uh, at Tencent, I think it could do pretty well. And we'll get into the utility in just a second. But the question you might ask yourself is, what about the markets? So on CoinGecko, you can find this is where all the markets are. Not too many for where you are actually able to buy it. I personally use PancakeSwap. And I like to use uh, CoinGecko because it takes me right to the actual asset itself. And there's no playing around with any kind of uh, scams or different coins that are out there that pretend to be Tencent or another token. It takes you right to where it is. You just click on Live Chart or actually this pair right here, and it'll take you there and you can actually use it. Now, if you're not familiar with PancakeSwap, it's super easy. It's built on the BNB chain. It's relatively cheap. I mean, as, as opposed to uh, just going on main chain Ethereum or Uniswap and things like that. And if you're uh, unfamiliar with how to use that, that's okay, I've got your back. There's a great website. And uh, I say it because I'm super biased because I own it. 
as Dan teaches crypto.com. There's a link in the description. It's 100% free. It always will be free. I only ask you for your email. I don't even spam you. I just send you an email when I upload some great video like uh, something like this. And if you go to module two safety or module three, uh, how do I, it'll show you how to transfer your crypto, how to use the MetaMask wallet if you're unfamiliar, how to use DEXs and everything else in between. So go ahead and check that out. But that is where you can actually find uh, Tencent itself. So those pretty much uh, take care of the tokenomics since there's no unlocks or anything else. But there's one more piece of the puzzle, Burns. And Burns, essentially what this is, is you have so much in circulating supply right now, which isn't really that much in my personal opinion, but it's actually deflationary because they're still burning those Tencent tokens, which sounds good to me. So the upcoming Burns, the, the Burns potential, and look at this, this is crazy, 27 million. 638,539 10 cent tokens. The concept is they regularly, they regularly buy 10 cent tokens back in the market and burn them for deflation. The potential comes from their reserves. You can see that there's they've got a bunch of Lido staked. Uh, the Bitcoin, Stoish Island, uh, Everdome lands, everything they've actually been a part of as far as the launches. And you can see that actually they've already burned 46 million. So there's much more to go. So for the tokenomics itself, it looks pretty solid and that's great. And also as a reminder, they just burned 100,000 tokens. So I think this is a very deflationary asset to say the least. Now, we talked about and that's all fine and good, but what does this thing do, Rob? Well, that's where we get to the utility. And the utility, I think is uh, a shining light of what this is all about. So essentially it goes like this. You get access to large projects on the launch pad you get access to medium-sized projects on the launch pad with a no questions asked claim back policy of seven days if you don't like what's going on. Then on top of that, you have governance. And on top of that, you also have airdrops. So let's break those down in conjunction. So if we go back over here, large crypto projects, and this will be the TGLP, the Tencent Gem launch platform. You can see that subscribers uh, it fluctuates. Right now, they've only, they've, they've, they're below 2,000 of 10,000. I've seen it as high as 7,000 before, but this is where we're at right now. And this is what they say. This is the true gems. This is the launch pad. This is where they actually get these new products in. This is where people vote on them. And then you can get into the pre-launches. So they, these types of projects have a large budget. Products have a massive marketing budget and large global ambitions. This is part of the TGLP. Carefully selected by the team, we'll get into that in a second. And then access to all the gems, users get access to participate in all launches with Tencent. Well, that's great, but how do you do that? Here's how you do it. The participation goes as such, there's three parts. You have to acquire access to the launch pad. You can do it by locking your Tencent tokens or 365 days or by purchasing a TGLP NFT. So again, if we're taking a look at that, that would be the Tencent price. And right now, it's at 61 cents. Not too bad. Thank God it's not at $6.50 like it was before because that would be a very high price. And that's why it's so great to get in during the bear markets because you can have a great time uh, with getting into something like this and not have to pay for an arm and a leg. So after that is done, uh, the GEM project, uh, they take a snapshot. It gathers a white list of active TGLP subscribers and empty holders shortly before each launch. And then those who pass the validation are able to uh, actually come in and be a part of that process. So two things to note as I scroll down here, and that is that as far as like the pass the validator and uh, the whitelist, I have personally uh, been a part of two of these different projects. And one I was rejected for because I'm an American, which is kind of, which is kind of strange to me because I'm an accredited investor and I was able to prove that, but one of the projects said, no, we're not gonna take you. Besides that, the other two products that I did get into didn't really uh, ask for much. But again, it's up to the project to decide who they're going to let in and who it actually isn't. But I'm just telling you, as an American, I've gotten in there before. And the next question uh, people probably will think themselves is, OK, well, if we get access to this, well, how many different uh, how much of the 10 set token do I have to acquire? So. If you want to get a yearly access, you have to lock 5,000 10 set tokens for a year. Again, 5,000 10 set tokens. So 5,000 at its all time high times six. Yeah, that's a lot of money. If it was at $6.50, we'll just say six is a, I'm a simpleton. So that's like $30,000. But now, if we're talking about 5,000 and you want to get into this, that would be less than that. That would be uh, 60 cents. So you're looking at 
roughly 2,500 if you really wanted to go that route. So to get in there, that's uh, pretty much how much it would take. And a good, and again, good thing we're not in the bull market. Now, if you want lifetime access, you know, like I don't want to deal with that. You can purchase a TGLP NFT. And if you take a look here, we'll click on this. And we see there's a bunch of different ones that are out there. We can see, let's take a look at Mayhem. And if you get one of these, it's 20 BNBs, which is roughly $5,000 or essentially double uh, that amount. Also, if we come back here, let's see if there's anything else. Let's see, Genesis, we do something here, 2.24 ETH. Again, roughly the same price. There might be a slight difference, but uh, you get the picture. Uh, if you wanna go for like a uh, forever type of access, it would be in the NFT department. So now if we scroll down, we get out of here. So they've got a different amount of things that are coming up uh, that are could potentially be big. Who knows? There's a lot of different things that they got on the platform. One's being Alvara, the centralized crypto fund platform. It was the creation and self-management of tokenized basket funds. Quite interesting. I wasn't a part of Alaska Gold Rush. I talked about Satoshi Island, but that was just a real estate play. I thought it was interesting, but I just pretty much passed on that one. But the ones that I was involved with was Fame MMA and Everdome. And this is the part where it gets risky. And you can see that the all-time high since its launch, it went up 30,000%, which was not, let's be honest, that's crazy numbers. Everdome did a 9,400% since the initial launch. But remember, these are very risky plays. So like with Fame, if we go back to when it was launched, I mean, it started out at 47 cents. So if you think about like, okay, well, how many, how many days do I have uh, before it actually just started to tank? Well, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and you can see it just kind of went down, then it kind of flat line. But this was in May of 2022, and the whole market was kind of sucking. But regardless, look at this: it went from 47 cents and dropped down to 30 cents, then to 27, then seven, almost eight cents. But again, when you're getting into these projects, it's very early. So I have a link in the description. This is in all my videos. It's called my DGen sheet. And I show you that when Fame MMA, when I bought it, it was on April 15th, 2022. And I got in for a penny because that's what it was for the launch pad. I put in a thousand dollars. I got a hundred thousand. All time I was 47. Price today is that's even, I think it's actually up uh, from what it is. So, you know, you do pretty well if you're able to at some point take some profits. Now, me personally, uh, I took out uh, not uh, the whole amount, but I did okay. So on that one, looked pretty good. Now, Everdome was very interesting. Everdome started off pretty high, or pretty low, excuse me, almost like two cents. And I was like, that's not so great. But then over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, 10, roughly 10 days, it went to eight cents. And I was like, that's pretty good. And it was sustained for quite some time. But again, as we get into the May months of 2022, that's when the whole market just started to just deteriorate rapidly. And it was a problem. But again, when you get into something like that, and here's Everdome. I got in on February 15th, 2022, and it was at a fraction of a penny. Put $1,000 in, I attained 200,000 tokens. All-time high was eight cents and uh, you know did pretty good. So again, you have to just uh, kind of think to yourself, like, what do I wanna do? How much risk do I wanna do? How long do I wanna in involve in this? And that's where it gets you into these launch pads because you get in super early before really anybody else does. And that's the power of, uh, of a launch pad. So we have that piece. And that is for the TGLP, that's for the big projects. Now you get into some medium-sized projects. And these ones, they actually come with a no questions asked claim back policy within seven days. And this is the Tencent Protectron Launchpad. And you can, uh, on this one, same type of thing. You can vote for the next gem, claim back. You can cancel your purchase up to seven days after the token listing. It's for medium budgets, products that are in the early stage of development, how to participate. You can lock your 10 set tokens for a year. Same thing, snapshot, launches. And of course, we scroll down here. This is the difference. So the yearly access, you have to only lock 2,500 10 cent tokens, which is just a little bit over $1,000, essentially at today's prices. And you get access for one year. Or of course, you can purchase a NFT. Again, same type of thing. And you can get lifetime access. So there's two options there. So again, nothing is risk-free, but on this side, it looks pretty good. So Moving forward, on top of the utility parts of where you get access to, uh, you also have the governance part. So with every 10 cent token, or with each TGLP NFT, I should say, you get five votes. Each subscription, you get four, and each subscription, each TPL subscription, remember, uh, difference, TPL is the seven-day money-back guarantee. TGLP is for the larger ones. 
you get four and three votes respectively. And over time, you can see just what they're voting on. First, they're voting on which type of uh, new gems do you want to actually uh, vote on and see if it can come in. They've got one called Alvara. Again, we talked about Ivan Pay. And then you can see that some of these, you know, uh, this is how they govern everything. So like one here is what's your preferred option for 10 cent token transaction tax? And they asked everybody and they said, yeah, we'll do a 4% tax, 2% burn, 1% affinity, 1% genesis and fuels. And that's how they do uh, things over there. And you can just see that they've got a lot of different uh, voting on different aspects. So I can see that part of governance if you're into that piece, but you might be more into this, airdrops. So how does this part work? Well, just watch this video. Do you enjoy receiving free tokens? With Tencent, you can get them on a daily basis. Every time the Tencent token is bought, sold, or transferred, 1% of the transaction is thrown into a special vault. Every day, new companies come with offers to cooperate. Among them, there are few projects at an early stage of development with huge growth potential who donate a pool of their own tokens to our community. This pool of tokens goes to another special vault. Do you want to receive tokens from these vaults? The longer and more 10 set you stake, the more rewards you receive. Choose 10 set regular staking and receive 10 set tokens every day from our vault. Choose 10 set premium staking and you'll receive up to 25% more 10 set token rewards. Furthermore, you'll be able to get additional rewards from tens of different rapidly developing sponsor projects whose tokens will flow to you from the second unique vault. By choosing the premium option, you get daily rewards, not from one, but from two vaults, and earn rewards from all Infinity projects. You won't miss a thing. Now, you already know whether it's worth staking Tencent. Yeah, the only question is, which one are you going to do? So if that's what you want to do. So with airdrops, here's the value they've done so far, almost 1.5 million. They've locked up uh, 16, almost 17 million in Tencent uh, token lockups. And then the question you might ask is, well, where does this actually come from? So again, a 4% tax is placed on all Tencent token transaction. 2% goes to the Infinity projects. Half of this is allocated to Tencent token stakers other half of for the NFT stakers. And again, these are the different airdrops that have been done so far. And he got fame, Flip It, which was a meme coin, Wink, Mosaic, Neon, Tectum, Galactic. These things I've never heard of. And uh, I don't know exactly how valuable they were or are right now. I can just tell you that uh, as far as the value that they, they dropped, again, roughly uh, 1.5 uh, million uh, for that piece. So then lastly, the staking option itself, you can find right here in this big blue button. Click on that. And it goes from flexible, which is minimum of 50, so not much, minimum 50, 10 set, 30 days at 4%, just 50, 10 set if you want to do that, it'd be like 25 bucks today, roughly. 60 days, you get 88% 80, 80 bonus, and 90 days, you get a 10% bonus. And then here's the premium staking. Again, it goes from 100, 500, 1,000, 2,000, but the 2,000 is two years. That's quite a long time. But nine months to 12 months, I don't think that's uh, too, too crazy. And uh, again, different bonuses across there. So. Uh, that is uh, part of the utility itself for the token. And then also on part of Tencent, uh, what I think is uh, pretty big is that they're also an official partner for the BNB chain Kickstart, which is uh, somewhat of their also launch pad that, that uh, Binance is doing. So if you scroll down here, you can see that Tencent's the official partner. And of course, for all these different products that is go are going through Binance, there's a uh, they get a 30% discount in auditing services because Tencent also does smart contract audits. Uh, fast track and engagement, they get a, ten, a discount on 10 cent marketing services. Again, this is for uh, crypto products that are coming into Binance. And Binance says, hey, we partnered with these launch pads if you want to use those. So you'll probably see some more premium uh, type of crypto products being launched because of their connection with Binance itself. And then lastly, I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention is that they have an incubator program. This is when they, they get the newest, the new coming in, and this will be the next gems that people are able to, to vote on. And I want you to notice something. And we've been talking a lot about this on the main channel at Digital Asset News, which is gaming. And you can see that the last three ones that they've uh, put up to vote, uh, Alaska Gold Rush, Pirates of the RLN, and Crypto Mayhem, they're all games. And then they just released this one today where uh, they talk about this is Farcana. 
it's another uh, looks like a potential triple A rated game. And uh, they're going to be voting on that for all the uh, Tencent members. So again, I think this is a smart play because as we know, I think uh, Web3 Gaming is the next narrative alongside with DEXs and AI for the next bull run. So to finish this all up, let's talk about the team real quick. The team itself, uh, this is the CEO, this is Matt Bilberry. I found him on uh, LinkedIn, which is also linked on their official website. He's the CEO, director of blockchain security. He was a senior software engineer at 15.5, NetGuru, senior software engineer, and so on and so forth. And another one, uh, we've got, this is Latin American director. This is Sergio M. And if we see him here on his profile, FinTech advisor between tech entrepreneurs and uh, Latin director, co-founder, professor in, for finance from March 2022 to one year and 10 months. So it looks like they have uh, some more people on here, brand managers, reps, uh, marketing and so on and so forth. So it uh, looks like they're working directly again with Binance and that is the uh, the team they have, small, but they have uh, put out some, some pretty good launches so far. So in conclusion, the pros of this, I think are pretty good. There's actual real utility. You need the token itself to get into launch pads. If you don't have that, you can't get into launches, whether that be the TGLP or the TLP. They have burns, buyback, staking, and of course, airdrops. I like the airdrop part. It's a pretty nice little bonus there. And then the third one, which I think might be good for some DGENs out there, it hasn't already pumped massively. We've seen things like Bonk, which is a meme coin, go up thousand something percent. We've seen some different projects go up like three, four thousand percent. And this one really hasn't done a ton over the last 60, 90 days, especially from its all time low. It's only up like three, three and a half X. So I think moving into the bull run, especially with the launch pad, might do pretty good. And then Fourth is you get access to next-gen projects with a seven-day guarantee on the TPL only. Now, the TGLP is different. Those are larger projects. You don't have a seven-day guarantee, but those are the ones that I did and worked out okay. But again, uh, past performance is not indicative of future results. Now, let's take a look at the cons. And this is what you really have to weigh for yourself to think about this. So these products that are launched, they're super risky, super risky, and you could lose everything. So just be aware of that. Uh, and then whitelisting versus the KYC process, which I talked about. If you're in certain areas, sometimes they'll just reject you. And uh, that's just how it is. But of course, there's other parts to that. There's the staking and there's the airdrops. But again, uh, I was accepted to a couple of them and they really didn't uh, ask too much, but they should because that's the process over there and it's on them to do those things. Now, third is that it can be a process to buy from PancakeSwap. I understand that it's not as easy as just buying from like a Coinbase or something. But again, go to Dan DG's Crypto, get all the videos that you need there. And then four is they are a Binance partner, but the finance, or excuse me, Binance future, that's a little misspell, is uncertain. We don't know what's going on with Binance. I know that that uh, the volume has uh, decreased over the last 30 days, especially since uh, CZ Binance came in for the uh, KYC AML issue with Binance. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. And it's still the largest crypto centralized exchange out there. And lastly, the volume of the projects versus the quality of projects. I can't guarantee that every single product is going to be quality. I can't guarantee that they're not going to be, you know, just a string of, of bad ones or whatever else it is. But so far, I like what I've seen. Now, they don't have some longevity. And you have to take a, you know, be aware of that. But this is the game that we play when we get into the risky degen parts. That's the whole point of Dan Degen. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive. Don't forget for the tweet, there's a link in the description, all links in the description for this one. So make sure that you enter in that. And again, 5,000 10 set tokens, the five lucky winners, but that's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.